Hi everyone, I'm Jen from Better Beginnings here at the State Library of Western Australia and today I'm going to be showing you a really fun activity you can do with your child to support learning about STEM concepts. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. Today's STEM concept is in relation to engineering. It's basically designing things, solving problems and also how things work. So to get started, begin by bringing some familiarity to the concept by talking with your child about something they might have seen out there in the real world. In this case, let's chat to them about a seesaw. Perhaps they've seen one in a park. Can you remember what happened when you sat down on one end of the seesaw? And how did you make it go from side to side? What did you have to do? How do you think it works? Do you think we could make one using some household items? Let's do it. So what you're going to need is a ruler, an eraser, two cups or containers of some type. And in this case, I've actually secured them with some sticky tape onto my ruler to make it easier. Also, you're going to need some items of varying weight to put into the cups to test the load. So I've got some Duplo bits and pieces, toys and so on. Now, we're also going to be demonstrating a second activity today. And to do this one, you're going to need a pen, some pop sticks, some pom-poms or you could, marshmallows would work well as I'll show you. And if you have them, some rubber bands is handy too. Okay, so we're going to start by having a look at this idea of a seesaw and how it works. So we're going to begin by grabbing the eraser and this is going to act as our balance point. You know, talk to your child about that seesaw that they saw in the park. It's got a middle point, hasn't it, that the seesaw rests upon to go up and down. So that is, of course, going to need to go in the middle to create our seesaw. Secondly, we're going to need to put our balancing item. And in this case, that's the ruler, which I've already pre-stuck the cups to. So let's put this on the middle now and let's get it balancing. Now, sometimes when you're out there in the park, it might be uh, down on one end. But for today, let's just see if we can start it in the middle. So at this point in time, you can introduce a new word to your child, and that word is fulcrum. In this little experiment here, the eraser is also known as the fulcrum. And what that means is it's the balance point of our little experiment. <laughs> okay, so I've got them nicely balanced here. I'm gonna test the load and see what I have to do to make one end touch the table or the ground, and then the other side of my little seesaw experiment here. So when you're doing this with your child, you can ask them to add some load onto the seesaw to make one of the cups touch the ground or the table. So let's give it a try, shall we? Hmm, I'm gonna put one dog in. There we go. It's moved pretty quickly in this instance, hasn't it? Okay, so what if we wanted to make these balance? What would I have to add to the other cup? Well, I've got a animal in there. So maybe if I got another animal that looks similar size, it might balance. Hmm. It looks like the dog is a little bit heavier than the cat. Again, parents, you can talk about these things with your child and help them understand what's happening as they're really just having some fun and playing around with this activity. What I think I might do is take these two out. These two blocks. They look the same size, the only difference is the colour. So they should balance, right? Let's give it a try. What do you think? Ask your child, do you think they're going to balance? So let's put one in one side and one in the other side. They do look pretty much balanced. If in this case they're not, and they should be, you might need to adjust that balance point or fulcrum. So I think mine needs to be moved over just a touch. There we go. That's probably a bit of a better balance point for my little experiment. Okay, can we make this cup touch the table again by adding some load? Pretty easy. 
Hmm, I wonder if I can balance them again so they're midway. I don't have any other blocks that look like that one, so I'm going to have to be creative here. Maybe the fish? Let's give it a try. Woo, I did it. <laughs> Your kids will be really excited when they have some successes, little successes like this. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Okay, so during this activity, you'll have seen that we actually did move our balance point a little bit to get it right in the middle. Let's explore this concept in a little bit more detail. To do this, we're going to move on to our second activity. Once again, we're gonna talk about something that children might have seen out there in the real world. For example, this concept is really similar to when you're using a shovel. Have you ever done some building sandcastles? Have you tried shovels with different length handles? Some are very short, and some might be very long, like one that you've got at home for digging up in the garden. Which one is easier to use? Hmm. Well, to test this theory, we're going to make some pom-pom catapults. <laughs> so for this, we're going to need your pop sticks and a fulcrum or balance point. So you could use an eraser or you could use a pen. There's lots of other things in your house that you could use as well. I'm gonna stick with the eraser, it works quite well. And we're also gonna need some pom-poms or you could also use something else quite light like marshmallows would look well. Uh, I'd probably suggest avoiding something like the Duplo blocks as um, these do end up flying everywhere. So something light is what you're looking for. Okay, so what we're looking at with this experiment is changing the fulcrum balance point. So what would happen to our catapult? How far is our pom-pom gonna go if we have the balance point in the middle, like with the seesaw? What would happen if we had it very far on one end, or what would happen if we moved it to the other end. Now, parents, if you wanted, you could actually have these three of these pop sticks set up ready to go with three different balance, uh, balance points, fulcrums, but I'm gonna demonstrate this for you today. So let's start with the short lever, and I'm gonna use a lucky band to secure it. It just makes it a lot easier for those tiny hands to manage for your kids, and they'll have a lot more fun if it's, if it's a bit easier for them to do. Now don't forget, at this point you wanna ask your child what do they think is gonna happen. So I've got a really short lever here, haven't I? It's pretty different to the seesaw. I'm gonna put my pom-pom on the end. Now, this is where you ask your kids, do you think it's gonna go really far or do you think it's not gonna move very far at all? Let's add some load to the other side and see what happens. <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. What should we do? Okay, let's move this fulcrum down a little bit, maybe the middle, like our seesaw, and you can just do this with the lucky band. See if it works a bit better. Okay, once again, let's ask the kids, what do you think is gonna happen? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work better than before or worse than before? What do you think? Let's give it a go little bit better. I think we could do even better, don't you? Let's try that one more time so you can see what happens. Gonna add some load. I pushed even harder and it still didn't go anywhere. I think we need to change up this experiment. Okay, what if we move it right to the end? Now I need a little bit of space still to launch my catapult. Okay, what do you think? Is this gonna be the one that actually works? Let's give it a try. Wow, wasn't that fantastic? I can guarantee your kids are gonna love it when that happens. <laughs> Let's try another one, just to make sure it's actually working like we think it is. <laughs> what if we tried a little pom-pom? I wonder if it's gonna go as far. Well, it's a little bit harder to balance on the end. 
<laughs> one last one. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Success. We did it. <laughs> When you talk about levers and load with your child and have them make predictions just like we did here today and test their theories, you are encouraging engineering skills with your child. I hope you have fun trying out this experiment at home. Read, talk, sing, write, play.